Join us and help us continue to support the many talented people of our community. Learn how to get your business highlighted on Lacrosse Local. Go to lacrosselocal.com and click on advertise. Prevention is the key to a healthy life. That's why Gunderson Health encourages you to learn about vaccines and how they can help you and your loved ones stay healthy. Vaccines protect against preventable diseases and viruses by boosting your body's defenses. Visit GundersonHealthFacts.com to learn more. Artspire is back on June 10th at the Pump House Regional Arts Center. Enjoy live music from Nicholas David, Charlie Boy, and High and Rising, plus a fine art fair, interactive art projects, and visual and performing arts. The event is free to all. Learn more at artspire.thepumphouse.org. We talked with Clay Fulton, lead vocals and rhythm guitar for the Clay Fulton and the Lost 40. We chatted about the latest album, Positive Numbers, and what people can expect from their live shows. Catch Clay Fulton and the Last 40 at Midwest Music Fest in Winona, Minnesota. You can find more conversations, food reviews, live music, weekend picks, and events on our website, lacrosselocal.com. I'm Amy. And I'm Brent. And this is Lacrosse Local. Well, my days are feeling longer, I'm not going to trouble. I write it down, but it drives me insane. Spend my money like a hurricane. I'm from Rochester, Minnesota. Early influence of music. Mom put a guitar in my hands when I was five, and mom and dad both had a record collection. It kind of started from there. A lot of Neil Young and Bob Dylan and that kind of stuff growing up as a kid in the kitchen, you know, at dinner time. Pretty wide array of stuff led me to music, but my parents would be the biggest influence, I would say. From then to now, it's your own band. How did that all come together? Were you in multiple iterations of different bands growing up and eventually came with your own name and the the Lost 40? I played in some bands like junior high, high school, did the pop punk thing in the early 2000s like a lot of my friends did. And went to music school for a little while, but actually through most of my 20s, music was kind of on the back burner. I was cutting my first record, realized I really missed playing in a band and immediately started working on putting a group together. So who makes up this group? Are these folks from around the area? Only me and one other member are actually from Rochester originally, but yeah, everybody lives in this area, which makes it easy for us to get together. So Nick Novotny is my drummer, who is the festival director for the Rochester Thaw. Oh, cool. Um, Played a bunch of, of festivals and stuff for years. Was in the Weathered Heads and Loudmouth Brass Band before my group. And then Carly Hornstein and Alan Palmer, who are also in My Grandma's Cardigan, who have been a staple of Midwest Music Fest and the Winona music scene for a long time. Alan's the bass player and Carly sings with me in the band. Peter Locke is the keyboard player. And Mike Bentley is the lead guitarist. Hmm. So, you know, going to your... I believe what is your sophomore album, Positive Numbers, you know, came out in summer of 2022. What is your process like for recording music? I mean, is it something that's quick or is it something that you take some time with it? Or what was that album like? We've been fortunate enough to cut both of our records at Carpet Blue Studios with Zach Zern from Author. Um, and he's got a, an amazing setup there. And I love working with Zach. He's also our producer. We've worked pretty quick, but some of that is just budget and, yeah. and what it costs to get into a studio and, and do something on a professional level. So part of it is coming in well rehearsed and making the most of your time. So we kind of did that. We would do a you know kind of some grueling pre-production, decide what you want to do with the songs, and then kind of lay out exactly how your week's going to go. And we, we cut this last record in like seven days. We did like 10 hour days of each of those seven, but basically seven tracks in seven days is how we cut that that album. You know, I was listening to the music earlier and, you know, you referenced Neil Young. So the song Little by Little reminded me of a, a sped up version of Neil Young's Pocahontas. Do you ever oh. get that? that? No, you're the first, but I really like that. <laughs> especially the, I think it's, I think the refrain or whatever it is, I'm not, musical in that sense where it says cuz I'm I am burning hot. Yeah. Cuz I'm burning hot. I can't catch a cold. Can't stop this train. Well, starts to roll. So I, I I hear that now. 
So hopefully that wasn't insulting, but I was just like, man, it sounds just like that Neil Young song, and I had to go search for it. So <laughs> right on. We'll play it. We'll play an example right now so people could compare it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't intentional, I swear. <laughs> no, it sounds great. The album sounds great. I've been enjoying it. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And speaking of that, you know, festivals like Midwest Music Fest. Mile of Music is another favorite of mine over in Appleton. Multi-day, multi-venue festivals are about discovering new bands. So I haven't had any time to even listen to the playlist that the Midwest Music put out just yet. If you're pitching your own set to someone who doesn't know your music, what can you tell them to expect from your live show? Great question. If I'm pitching the Lost 40, I would say that we are built for a live show. A very much transition into a full tilt roots rock kind of group. I'm also fortunate to be in a very talented cast. So you're going to get blown away by some incredible keyboard. You know, Nick, we got thundering loud drums. Um, and then Peter splitting solos and doing what they do. It usually leaves people uh, with some jaws on the floor, especially when Mike decides to rip a really fast guitar solo for someone. And the other emphasis of our show is definitely vocals. Carly and I's harmonies are a huge part of the show, and I'm really proud of how good those sound, too. So between lyrics and and the musicians in the group, it's an all-around, pretty well-rounded lineup. These multi-day festivals just bring a wide genre of music, but you know, for a band like yours, it seems like it's definitely that rocking sort of component that if you're looking for that, it's definitely something to check out. Yeah, definitely. So what's coming up for you? Are touring, new music, or what's what's on the horizon? Well, we're actually going to be playing one of our new songs at the festival. We don't have like a whole group that we're going to be like in the studio anytime soon, but we're working on new stuff. Midwest Music Fest is definitely the highlight of our May. We're really excited to be there. Up in June, we're going to be playing Palmer's Bar with our buddy Stardust. Yeah, we got some really fun shows lined up, I would say almost monthly or a couple a month throughout the summertime but yeah midwest is definitely high on the list of things we're excited for just checking out your website clayfulton.com it just seems like you just have things going on all the way to december 16th so you got a full schedule looks like people could pick up your cd there where are you most active for people to follow along instagram facebook I try to be equal about posting on Instagram and Facebook as far as show dates go for me solo or with the lost 40. And I try to keep the website very current as far as the show dates are posted as I get them in. Lacrosse Local Podcast is a production of River Travel Media. Do you have an interview idea you'd like to share with us? Message us on Facebook at Lacrosse Local. Find out more about us at lacrosselocal.com. And you can subscribe to the Lacrosse Local Podcast on your favorite podcast app. If you like us, rate us five stars. We appreciate it.